Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. Hey, welcome back lads, so we are now just one week away from the reveal of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, so the hype and anticipation is really building up, but I also know that there are some people who are more skeptical and worried that the multiplayer will be too similar to that of Modern Warfare 2019, repeating the same mistakes as that game all over again. However, from everything that we've heard, all the leaked information and stuff like that, the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is said to be a lot more like classic Call of Duty, the developer have made good changes based on what people liked and disliked about their previous game, which is good news, right? Yeah, of course it is. There is one leaked detail that really stands out to me as a difference maker, and if this feature did exist in Modern Warfare 2019, it would have easily solved so much of the things that people just hated about that game. What I'm talking about is the return of combat pacings from Vanguard, so it's one of the best things that Call of Duty has done in years, but because people are not interested in Vanguard, it's kind of gone a bit unnoticed under the radar, if you like. So the combat pacing feature allows you to search for matches with different amounts of players. You can just play the regular tactical 6v6 or blitz, which can be up to 20 versus 20 and complete chaos, but that is why it would work so well here in Modern Warfare 2019 and going forward into Modern Warfare 2, because the biggest issues with Modern Warfare 2019 that people had was the gameplay design, which purposefully promoted camping and purposefully punished like aggressive play and fast-paced rushing. So on top of the map design and skill based matchmaking that just all made the game a bit not what Call of Duty is known for. Yeah, so who would have guessed the combat pacing literally improves the game's pacing because there are more players on the map at one time, more people running around like headless chickens, and on bigger maps as well, it improves the flow because there's just a better proportion of players to the map size. So yeah, it also improves the basically the quality of the maps. Man, imagine if we were able to play 20 versus 20 on Grasna Raid or Arklov Peak. That would have been literally, as I said, a game changer. Yeah, so Modern Warfare 2 won't suffer from the same problems as Modern Warfare 2019, good news. And it also makes me think about remastered maps from the original Modern Warfare 2 coming into the new, because the maps from the old Modern Warfare 2 are like proper old school style, they're very different to the maps that we see today, and part of that difference is the size, you know, like a, a medium sized map from the original Modern Warfare 2 would be considered large in today's games, so you can imagine Imagine how big the big ones are, and they would really benefit from combat pacings because people would hate those maps now if they were 6v6, even if they were classics back in the day. So being able to do like 20 versus 20 on maps like Invasion, Afghan, Wasteland, Quarry, and Estate would be amazing and something that I really want to experience. In my mind, it would be kind of like a, I don't know, a cross between or an in between of regular multiplayer and ground war. Nice man. Then there is also Ground War itself, so there is a choice for the player on what kind of experience they want. Regular 6v6, slightly larger 20 versus 20, or separate 32 versus 32 Ground War. So that is great because, as we were saying earlier, Modern Warfare 2019, in a different way, kind of got rid of choice, right? As I said, they promoted camping, but in doing so, killed off fast-paced rushing playstyles, so I'd say that this combat pacing also improves regular maps too, just because it can kind of turn them into an experience similar to shipment, which is like, it's just chaos everywhere, and that's the kind of high-octane action that people love about Call of Duty, so yeah, this is great news, and I don't know, just talking about it, I, I really want to play and experience it now, but yeah, that's about that, so stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.